Uh, hey, I'm sorry for stopping by. I didn't have your number. Oh, that's fine. Um, can I get you something to drink? No, thanks. Um, I was hoping to talk to you about Brandon. Okay. Look, first of all, I, I just want to say that I'm supportive of your relationship. I, I think you're a very nice girl and you clearly care for Brandon. It's just that, um, all this is a lot of responsibility. At any age, but... Especially at 18, I mean, he hasn't even graduated high school. Look, I didn't ask for Brandon to move in with me. I have no doubt that this was his idea. Just like I'm sure you didn't ask him for the money he gave you. I didn't ask for the money. Look, that's the thing about Brandon. He, he doesn't have to be asked. He sees a, a pretty girl in need, and he feels like he has to save her. Well, I don't need any saving. I can take care of myself and my son. Well, I'm sure you can, which is why I, I was hoping you could uh, encourage him to move back home. I'm not sure what I could say. Well, I mean, you could uh, tell him that it's confusing for your son to live with a man that isn't his father. You think I'm confusing my son? You know, your son's pretty confused, too. Yeah, I agree. But not about me. I mean, do you have any idea why he's living here? I mean, I, I think I do, yeah. It's because he's not comfortable living at home. Why is that? Because his moms are blaming him for everything that happened with Callie. They think it's all his responsibility, and he doesn't want to live with them looking over his shoulder every day like he's some kind of creep. What do you mean? What do you mean everything that happened with Callie? They had sex. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because I'm tired of everybody acting like Brandon's the one being selfish, when really he's just trying to make things easier for everybody else. And his moms know? Yes. And that's why there's nothing I can say to get him to move home.